at loose ends with a number of different things in life and trying to figure out uh, really what was causing me not to be able to move forward with the things that were most important to me. I had come to know you as somebody with a lot of natural gifts that also contributed to my confidence level. And so I think the, the combination of, you know, feeling that there was a very strong program in place, that you were a very strong facilitator and somebody I trusted, and the point at life that I was at, that I just felt uh, I really needed to shake things up somehow. Uh, good learning facilitators, and I say this with my master's in adult education behind me, <laughs> oh, you know, that. Right, is the facilitators of education, really good ones, understand that it's about the best learning happens when people discover learning for themselves. And that the role of the facilitator who, who is someone who listens well, um, asks great questions, suspends judgment, um, uh, creates safe space, all of those things are very important. You've got that master. You're so good at all of those things. And it's rare to find all of those things in one teacher, facilitator, mentor, trainer, whatever you want to call them. I really felt like you were also great at being a cheerleader. I mean, you were in my camp. You had my back. One thing I, I really appreciate about you and is so rare these days in relationships with people, any kind of relationship, is, I mean, there's people who talk about and will say, I see you, you know, you really do see me. You really do see me. And the, and the way I know that is by what you say about me that I know in, in my heart barometer is accurate. You, you take the time, you think, you think with your mind, you think with your heart, and you are utterly honest and without guile in, <clears throat> excuse me, reflecting back what you see. And that is so immensely supporting, supportive, and caring and so missing in our world today.